Hey guys, guys. welcome back to Jill Comfort Zone, Jill Comfort Zone, Jill Comfort Zone. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Jill's Comfort Zone. If you're new here, pull up a seat, click that subscribe button right down there and turn it gray. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be reminded of when I am coming to you with another video. All right, so today what we are making is some stuffed acorn squash. So we're gonna stuff it with some um, some cheese and ground Italian turkey, sausages, um, and some good stuff. So stay tuned. I'll be right back and meet you over here so we can show you how we're gonna get everything started together. Welcome guys, welcome back. So this is all that we have and we have our two um, acorn squash, we have our chickpeas, we have some baby mushrooms, we have our Italian spicy uh, turkey sausages, we have some onions, I have some minced garlic in here already but I'm going to mince some more of it going on. I have some fresh herbs here. And as for the seasoning, I have some peppercorn, fresh pe peppercorn medley, some paprika flakes, red paprika, paprika flakes, sorry. I have some red pepper flakes. I have some Himalayan salt, some Cajun seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, complete seasoning, parsley flakes, and some herb de Provence. So... We're gonna go ahead and get that together. And I do also have some fresh spinach that's on the other counter. I will bring that up later. So basically, put olive oil in the pan, which we're going to go ahead and get in our pan to start searing with a long wick. And then I'm gonna do the onions and you know, mushrooms and all that separate. But I'm gonna cook the meat first, okay? And then I'll blend it all up with the cook, with the cooked meat. Yeah. So we're just gonna get the cooked meat and then season it up a little bit. I'll bring you here where I am. Where I'm just gonna brown this up really good so we can stuff our squash with. And then I'm going to come back and show you how we're going to place these in the oven at 350 degrees, face down. I'm talking about the um, acorn squash. So I'll be back. Hey, welcome back. So I cleaned out the insides. I think the best tool to scoop out the inside and the seeds and everything is an ice cream scoop. Yes. So we are gonna get this coated with some oil, extra virgin olive oil. Coat that in around the edges. And then <clears throat> I'm gonna hit it with some seasonings. So I'm gonna keep it basic. What I do want before I brush, because I am going to brush, and this time I am going to come with some garlic paste. Yeah, I'm rusting it a little bit, but it's the stirring garlic paste. And yeah, I want to just, I want some nice flavors going on in there. So I'm going to come with a little salt. Okay, have a corn medley. And I want the inside and everything to be nice and coated. Okay, come with a little bit of dry parsley in there. Then I'm going to rub them. Rub them. We're gonna paste, place them face down. I have a cookie sheet, baking sheet over here. 
that's layered in some Aluma foil, sorry. Just a little bit of Cajun. Now I want them roasting in there. And we're going to bake on 350 or 350 degrees. Coming with a little bit of garlic powder. Just a little, because we already got the garlic paste in there, okay? I love garlic. And a little onion powder. Okay. And then, oops. So, cat. It's all right, guys. All right, since everything is already, you know, pretty much in there, I just wanted to take this to get the paste going and pick up some of that oil. So I'm gonna do this with these, lay them on a baking sheet. We're gonna cook these for about 15 to 30 minutes, just until the insides are nice. See, you want that garlic to really infuse in there, so you know what I mean? Swipe the garlic around, and bring it out. It's gonna be so delicious. I already smell the garlic. <laughs> so yeah, so we're gonna bake 350 degrees for 15 to 30 minutes, just until the flesh is roasted. <laughs> and I'll be back. Hey guys, so now I'm about to saute down and get all the liquid out of my mushrooms. Then I'm gonna use some country crop plant base butter avocado oil and I'm going to cook all my veggies in that so stay tuned so we're going to let our baby favela mushrooms cook down until we get every bit of the water out of them and then we're going to come with our chickpeas onions the, the, diet, the minced garlic will come last okay so we're gonna cook it up, then I'm gonna season them all together. Then we're gonna add it to our ground turkey sausages. And then by then, it'll be time to stuff, to stuff the acorn. It's time to stuff the acorn squash. And we're using cheddar cheese curds, the hickory baking kind, that we're gonna mix in there with our lovely veggies and meats. So, I shall return when it's time. So about five to eight minutes for these. We just wanna cook them down so all the water is out of them. And I have about nine minutes left for our acorn squash to come out of the oven and finish roasting. So, right on time. And our sausage is already cooked halfway and just waiting on us to cook it the rest of the way once we add our flavorful veggies. So, yay! I'll be back. Hey guys, welcome back. So we're ready to add our onions to our pot. You know I love onions. Garlic is gonna be the last bit of the last ingredient along with the Spinach to go in our dish. I'm gonna add our gonzo beans. Okay. I'm gonna put the herbs there. Okay. And I already named all the seasonings that we are using. So I would say 
a teaspoon of less salt and pepper to taste to your liking. You can always add it later after you're done with your dish, right? Got to come with the parsley, dry parsley. Tons, tons of flavors there. pepper yes this is going to be so flavorful guys trust me but thank me later to make this delicious dish very healthy meal And one more other thing that I did not mention is that, of course, you know me, I have my ground thyme and fennel that I'm adding to the dish. And let's get all these flavors married together. I'm even going to add some more of the butter. All right. And a little bit of olive oil. So, and a little bit more of the butter to it. I want some flavors in help it stand out a little bit more. To me, I feel like butter and olive oil really, really keep everything flavorful. And you can't have too much olive oil. It's healthy, right? We're going to add that in there. Cook this for about you, this is about to be so good. And, like I said, cook that for about four minutes or so. And if you wanted to, you could have added green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers for the flavor and the color. Yes. But, for me... This is okay for right now. This is my first time making this dish. So I didn't want to use too much different things. So I want to taste every bit of the flavors that are combined in this dish. Last but not least, as you can see, I added a little bit of paprika. I added the a little bit of turmeric and I went ahead and added the spinach and the ground turkey to this dish ground turkey sausage to this dish yes and this is going to be extremely delicious and I'm about to hit it with the garlic, infuse it. Let me show y'all my acorn squash, which is ready. Mm, y'all see that? They are ready. They are ready to be stuffed. All right, with that garlic and seasoning in there. Now let's come. Sorry for crossing. If you see me crossing, I can't see. It's kind of like a garlic. Okay. I love garlic. <laughs> I 
I know you guys do too. If you don't, you can use as little as you want. Me, bring the garlic. Bring the garlic. All right. And we are gonna cook this for like, not even one minute. See, that looks so delicious, don't it? Nice and blended, guys. All right. What I should have did was take some of this out. But we got the cheese curds, right? That we're going to mix up in here. But <clears throat> I don't need like big blobs of the cheese curds, right? Or do we? <laughs> yes. But I want all of the cheese curds, though. I just want to make sure each bite, each squash gets nice pieces so we are going to use this and i told you i'm using the hickory bacon okay so we will be using all of this cheese these babies are still hot in no way shape and form do i want them but this cheese and we're going to put a couple of pieces on the top. I did take some of this meat out because I wasn't sure if I needed all of it. You know, with the chickpeas and stuff. But we want even. See how I've missed cheese curds in there? We want some in the bottom. In the top. But let's see how this all comes together, okay? And I will return mm -mm -mm. with the finished dish. I'm just tasting. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. So, at the beginning, before we get into me tasting the food, I just want to take this moment to shout out Carter Eats for her t shirt that I ordered, I love it. Comment, commit, and stick. Comment, commit, and stick. Hey, All our girls are on the cute couch. <laughs> yes, Cardi Eats, go check her out. She has a wonderful channel over there. So, and she has these wonderful t-shirts. So go grab you one. I love my t-shirt. Also, it's been a lot going on. Bring it down just a little bit. Today is Healthy Moments with Jill. Um, we lost a beautiful sister who was part of Sister Fifi's Healthy Moments movement. So I'm always used to saying <clears throat> to our sisters who has joined us on a journey, uh, I just want to take this time out for a moment of silence for a queen of crazy's life. Whose memorial was today. <clears throat> I have been praying for her family and lifting them up in prayer. And for the Mukbang community, the YouTube community, she was really loved. And through this short time of me getting to know her, she was truly a beautiful woman. Um, we're going to miss you, Queen. And I dedicate today's healthy moments to you. I only known you for a short time, but the time you came in my life, <clears throat> you were just so joyful. Hey, my little crazies. Love you, sis. Gonna miss you. And I know God got you. 
And I'm just going to take a moment in silence at this moment. Yes, so Queen, we're going to miss you. We love you. And my heart goes out to your family. This is never an easy topic for me. <clears throat> so, thank you all for being with me. And today is a rough day. I lost a childhood friend this morning that I got a call in a car accident. So, I pushed through, and, um, okay, back on it, um, my condolences to you, your family, your children, so, all right, welcome to Healthy Moments. This is real life, and we all go through it. Didn't mean to get all emotional. Now let me get into this food. Here you have it. Stuffed. Stuffed. Acorn squash. And I'm going to give it a taste now. Oh, look at that cheese. Oh, uh, baby. Oh, God, this is a lot of cheese. I want to make sure I get some of that squash, though. And everything on one bite. This looks so good. Ah, oh, take a bite, guys. Oh. Sorry. Truly delicious. It is delicious. Mm. This is my first time having cheese curds. And yeah, hickory bacon takes. Oh. Mmm. The first time we have them, acorn squash. It's truly delicious, guys. A delicious meal. Quick, simple. Healthy. And it really is delicious. So I want to thank you all for coming. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you're new here, come and join the family. Click that bell right down there so you can be reminded of when I am coming to you with another healthy moment every Saturday at 8 p.m. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Come on over so I can love on you. And you can love on me. And don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you think about this video. And let me know what else you would like to see at Jill's Conference Home. I enjoy making new and different recipes. And I want to do a little more healthy moments. And more than just Saturday incorporated in every day. So... Share me out. And with that being said, as I always say, I love you. God bless. And peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Until next time. Bye. Be safe. Wash your hands. Keep washing. Oh.